Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have an amazing little design by Steve Good to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is this week. I believe it's Wednesday. I hope you all celebrate it safely wherever you are out in the world. I've already got the pattern printed out and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and we're going to go on stack cut two out of quarter inch plywood, and it is a clover with the quote I'm a wee bit Irish on it this will be a great project if you are learning how to do internal lettering on scroll saw projects not a lot of detail but it's going to be an amazing design and once we get done with all the scroll work on this we will make a backer board using my washer technique and probably spray paint this green to celebrate St. Patrick's Day I'm already wearing my green really excited Spring's right around the corner. Daylight saving times is around the corner. Really happy and excited for all that. So right now, let's head over to the drill press and drill all of our pilot holes so we can come back over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we are going to begin with a small drill bit and drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting with the letters and the two little clovers. Then we will head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades and as I said this is a Steve Good design and if you'd like to try this pattern it is available as a free pattern download over at his website at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com over in the free pattern catalog. Thank you Steve for another amazing design. Again, this is a great project for people who would be new to scrolling that are trying to cut out letters. And I'm just taking my time. For reference, my tension on my scroll saw is at 3.5 and the speed is between a 5 and 6. Just going through here and getting all the letters, taking my time, letting the blade do the work. And if you have a variable speed scroll saw, you might need to slow it down to get some of the tighter turns in the letters. I'm just comfortable with a faster speed when doing the letters. Doing the final two inside cuts here, the clovers. Now I'm beginning the last one. And I will retension the blade and start with a pilot hole and begin the final outside cut which will release the two clovers from the wood. Then we'll head over to the workbench and remove the piece from the waste wood. And my piece of half inch plywood here and a washer, I will trace around it to give it a perfect 1 8 inch border all the way around. I use this technique very often. Then we will head back over to the scroll saw and scroll this out with the same number 5 blade. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Again, using the same blade to cut out this clover. Now we'll head over to sanding with 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander. Sanding the front and back of both pieces and then I will put the backer board on a piece and use green spray paint and paint it green and I'll let that dry and then we can go over to gluing and glue the two pieces together with Gorilla Wood glue and I'll clamp it with spring clamps and let that dry then I'll come back and remove the clamps and take the piece outside and give it three or four coats of clear gloss clear coat and let it dry out in the sun and the project will be complete. Hey 
and here we have the completed just a wee bit Irish piece it came out real good thank you Steve good for another amazing design the perfect border all the way around with the washer always adds an added effect to it and added character all of the words are easily legible the I am a wee bit Irish or I'm a wee bit Irish it comes out it pops easily legible really good I'm gonna hang this up and display it through St. Patrick's Day and off camera I took the other one since we stack cut it too and spray painted it with just the green color I done for the backer board on this piece just to kind of give you guys an idea on different ways to finish a project I've clear coated both of them and now they're just ready to hang up and display really awesome again thank you Steve Good for another amazing design I really enjoy cutting out your patterns and teaching people about the scroll saw with them um, with it being St. Patrick's Day and me being a pirate traditionally it's all about gold I'm not a huge fan of gold I am more of a silver person as you can tell by my jewelry that I wear sometimes the bracelets that I wear I like silver the only kind of gold I do like is this kind I went and got this out of storage a replica heavyweight wrestling belt I used to be a huge fan of wrestling um, not so much anymore I enjoy the older era of wrestling but with it being St. Patrick's Day I thought I'd show you guys something gold I want to get it cleaned up and maybe hang it out here in the workshop somewhere and display it instead of it being cooped up in a box somewhere but that's about all for this video wherever you are in the world I hope you all have a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day 2021 and please stay safe that's about all for this one. Remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.